What's up everyone, and it's time to play Raging Bolt Ogre Pond one more time. And I say one more time because I have made two other videos going over it, but those weren't really refined as they are right now. And I've made some changes from those, for example being I took out Fluttermane and then replaced it with the one prizer Sandy Shocks. And I believe I still had Sandy Shocks in there. I don't remember if I did or didn't, but I added this one. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of like it in there. Especially with its ability to grab a fighting energy from your discard if you have four. Sorry, if your opponent has four prize cards remaining. And that pairs well with Energy Switch. And I do like Energy Switch because it has saved me a lot of times. As well as the A spec I have always been running since the beginning of this, Secret Box. I mean, I've kind of been still kind of contemplating between Primary Catcher and this one. But for me, I do like Secret Box a lot more. And what Secret Box does is it allows you to grab... A supporter card a stadium an item and a tool well as long as you have three cards in your hand to discard first but that could be very in handy but that could come in handy because let's say you have energies in your hand you could discard them and then you get to use the sada's vitality just to attach it to your raging bolts or sandy shocks if need be and only that if you need the energy switch you can grab that as well the lost vacuum to get rid of a stadium your opponent has or just throw the stadium onto their stadium and lost vacuum away let's say a tool they have attached to their pokemon and speaking of tools you can grab the ancient booster capsule or the bravery charm to attach to your pokemon to beef it up a bit but actually as i'm looking at it i think i'm gonna get rid of one nest ball and then add one more ultra ball because i do need some other ways to discard some stuff just in case yeah okay i'm gonna do that but yeah enough rambling let's try this out on the ladder all right first match of the day Let's see what I go up against. And honestly, I do not want to go up against Lugia. Honestly, for me, Lugia is one of the harder matches for this deck. Along with a mirror match, depending on who goes first or second. Because as for me, before, I'd love to go first for some reason. Just to set up and then do attacks, whatever, what have you. But as of lately, ever since playing my future box deck, I've been loving playing second and playing this a little more aggro. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like adding that Ultra Ball came in handy because now not only do I get to grab an Ogre Pawn, <coughs> excuse me, not only do I get to grab an Ogre Pawn, I get to discard an energy, use the Sada. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I might win in one turn. Might. Depending if they attach anything else to the bench. Which, let's be honest, they might. Hmm, let's go. Is this an Armor Rouge deck? Because they're having the charm, the Go Pokemon Go Charmander. Oh, yep. Turn one donk. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Let's see when they realize. First match done just like that beautiful love to see it but let's see how I do in the next match yeah that first match was an ideal situation but let's see if I could do that again or at least still get the win and like I said before I would love to go second hmm. okay good but also, if they're going first, that means they have cards they need to evolve. Okay, but at least I got a Poke Gear. I've had worse hands. Okay. And I could still draw a card with the ability. Okay, this is either Reggie Drago or randomly a Toad Scroll deck. Toad Scroll Ogre Pond deck. Okay, not bad. At least I got an S Ball too. But my money is on. Reggie Drago.
which should be good. Cause, oh, yep, ready Drago. But yeah, like I said, should be good. We'll see. And honestly, before making this video, I was contemplating on doing a Reggie Drago deck, but when trying it out, it just it wasn't performing good. But then I saw someone was saying you should also use a Blissey EX as well, and that intrigued me, so I'll try to make that work. So I'll try to make a Reggie Drago Blissey EX deck. You know, but still with the Toad Scroll Ogre Pond and the energy switches. Because I like that. I like the idea of having a Blissey EX with it. I'll try to make that work. But as for right now, let me focus on the match. Okay, what am I going to do? Hmm. I'm trying to think if I should Nest Ball for another Ogre Pond. Or Nest Ball for Raging Bolt. I think I'll... Ogre Pond, the use the ability first, see what I get, and then Poke Gear depending on what I get, and then I'll Nest Ball, and decide between the two. Cause I do have a Switch Cart, so that doesn't help me at all. That also doesn't help me. All right, I see where this is going. I think I'm just going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to do this. And then Burst Roar. It's the only thing I could think of right now. I hate that though. I really don't like having to discard a Pal Pad and then a Supporter that I need. But I believe I do run two Pal Pads, so... Should be okay for now. And I do have another Professor's Vitality and an Earthen Vessel to grab an Electric Energy and a Grass Energy. So if anything, I might use the Secret Box to grab a boss and take out that Reggie Drago. Depending on what he does to me. Jamming Tower, nice. So for now, eh, well, I do have another Stadium I could use, I believe. Yeah. To just put that over it. Oh, he's running a Giratina. Okay, so that could definitely knock out my Raging Bolt. This is bad. This is looking bad. Because he just needs an energy switch and a switch. Or attach energy to Raging Greninja switch. And then he could use. The Giratina's Billy. Or not even that, the Noivern. I forgot about the Noivern. Damn. Okay. So this is getting tricky. Yep, there's the energy switch. Okay, now I'm kind of hoping he uses the Dragapult ability. Because I just need to get rid of this. And now he's kind of hindered into trying to get out another Regidrago V-Star. But that ain't going to happen. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, so... Okay, so... I am going to have to put that down. Because I can attack with a basic. So what should I knock out? It should definitely be an Ogre Pawn, huh? Okay. So let's get rid of the Poke Gear. And then a Grass. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so. Hmm, I can't do that right now anyways, so. I'll get rid of these two, grab that boss. 
I do have another pal pad. Should I grab it? I believe so. Mm, actually, no. I need to set up another raging bolt. Bravery charm. Okay. So this is the plan. This is the move. Let's see. 250, 290, 200. So I'm st still going to attach this. Use that. I mean, I guess I still can't attack, huh? Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to have to do this. But now I'm left with the decision of... Do I discard both? I think I'll just leave one. Okay, there's an earthen vessel though, so I am set up for the next Raging Bolt. Depending if he uses that Noivern's attack again. Okay, so if he uses Noivern, I can't attack. But if he also uses Dragapult attack, it's not a knockout. But if he uses Giratina, I'm out. But at the same time, if he uses the Giratina V-Star's attack, he has to send two energies to the Lost Zone. So let's see what he does. Noivern, okay, smart. Nothing I can get rid of. That's fine. Trainers. Two. Ooh, I do not want to get rid of that. I'm going to have to use this. Perfect. Get those sodas back. Hello? Okay. That was burst roar. Okay, so another thing I could probably do, since he's going to try to stall me, is just make him run out of cards. Because if he's just going to do 70 damage, I think I could survive long enough if I focus on switching. And if not switching, just have him keep doing that damage and then make him run out. Because I have 16, he has 8. So that's the other plan. Because he still needs two more hits to take that out. I kind of like that idea. So I could still attach energy to that. So, depending on what I grab. Boss. I should still have one more boss. But, you know, for now, I'm going to leave it. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so the plan is to make him run out of cards. Because even if he makes the decision to not use the Noivern's attack, I can knock it out. 
This is gonna be a long game, people. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's make it a little more annoying for him. Switch cart, perfect. And then heal 30, which it could still be a knockout with the Noivern, but. And turn. Yes. Also, again, if you skip <laughs> towards the end of this match, I don't blame you. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to do this. Unless he, like, surprises me with, like, a Misfortune Sisters or any other mill card. Again, I have no problem. Let's do this for five more turns unless he has an Iona. So I'm going to switch it to the... Should I switch it to the Overbond? I think I should. Okay, so he gave up on that, so... <laughs> he saw what I was doing, okay. I have a lot of energy. Do I have any... Energy retrievals are all in there, so... Do I put out a fresh one? Might as well. And then I will use this. I can't use that. I use that just for energy. Then I have a boss. Then I will use both energies right here. Use both. Let's use the grass. And I just need what, four? Yeah. You know, I got terrified thinking he used the Giratinas, but then I remember he did 280 damage, so it wasn't that. And I still have the energy switch. If he doesn't mess with my hand, I should still win. Should. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Okay, we're back. It, but yeah, either way, lost that one. It was close. Yeah, let's try one more round and see how it goes. Okay, so my opponent is going first. Meaning they have stuff they need to evolve. If I'm going to take a guess, it's Dragon Bolt. Oh no, it's a stall deck. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Huh. I think I still play the Ogre Pond. Okay. 
Perfect, perfect. I want to hold on to the switch cart. But it looks like I actually can't hold on to the switch cart. Whatever. You know what? Let's do this Sandy Shocks. I'll do this one. That's still enough to knock it out, I believe. Yeah. And I'll leave that Sandy Shocks in my hand. Okay, so far, so good. So far. Okay, another Grass Energy, nice. That one's weak to water. Hmm. And if I attach a Grass to this... Discard it, use the Sada, put the Fighting Energy back onto Raging Bolt, attach Grass Energy to that. I can knock that out, but he will be attaching something to his bench. I do not know what. But regardless, that's a two-prizer, so that's something I definitely want to get rid of. Each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a case of fire. Okay. Wait, does this do burn damage at all? No. Okay. All right, hold up. <laughs> Let's take a step back. It's not a stall deck. something I've never seen. Okay, it looks like it's a Charizard one. Unless it's a Charizard stall deck. I don't know. Huh. I don't see what I'm gonna do. Switch. What energy do I have in there? I have that, so... Yeah, no, I still need to do this. And if he does bring out the Charizard, I have to rely on the Ogre Pond to do a one-shot on it, so. It's not too bad. Ooh, let's go. I don't feel like having this... Ah, I say that, but... I'll leave the Ogre Pond just in case. Yeah, let's get rid of the Sandy Shocks. And then I'll use that to get rid of the Hero's Cape so I can sacrifice less energy. So now what? Just three more? Yeah, three more. But that is two prize cards. Another grass. Nice. I'll take it. And if anything, I'll use the judge to try to get another fighting. Because it looks like the plan for him now is... I actually don't even know what this one does. I have a switch cart, so it's fine. Depending if he knocks me out or not. What does this do? Discard two electric energies from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's not good. That's the sand. Okay, I don't know anymore. Ooh, okay, I see the... I think I see the plan. Huh. Definitely have to think differently with this one. Okay, so. Has he used an A spec? Because I definitely do not know what A spec they are running here. Alright, 
that's two poke gear. Nice, nice. All right, we're cooking. We're cooking. Oh, let's go. Do I? Damn, I'm terrified what a spec they got. Sixty damage. Ooh, got lucky there. You know what? Let's do that because I feel like he's gonna try to knock it out. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's resistant to fighting, but I just got lucky to knock it out. Okay, two more cards, and I'm really hoping he brings out that Charizard. Because I could one-shot that with the Ogre Pawn. Also, if he has a Neo Upper Energy, I can get just use the Temple of Sinnoh. And they gave up. Cool. So, yes, there you have it. That is my Raging Bolt Ogre Pond deck. And you know what? I'm actually really glad of the variety of decks I went up against today. I'm kind of glad I didn't go up against, like, nothing but Lugias or nothing but Mirror Matches, you know? Or at least Dragon Bolts either. Yeah, that was nice. That was fun. Not just because I won most of them. The Reggie Drago one, that one was a really good game because he drew really good cards and made really good attacks and decisions mainly because of the Noivern and the other weakness of this deck being it's filled with nothing but basic cards and even then like the canceling clone can't save me in that situation so I think that is a situation where you would need a prime catcher just so you could attack another Pokemon but even then I don't know I'm kind of thinking should I add it's not a counter catcher hold up let me look up which one it is yeah this one Pokemon Catcher. I'm kind of thinking I should add that. I know other Raging Bolt Ogre Pond decks run a Pokemon Catcher, but my RNG is so bad. So I don't even know if this would really help me. Yeah, regardless, if there, you think there's anything I should add to this deck or, you know, or take out and add something else, please let me know in the comments down below. But either way, I'm not mad at this deck. I really like it. And honestly, I don't know if I said it already, but this is my favorite deck to use right now. And it's been super fun. If we're talking about second favorite decks that are also fun to use, it is honestly my Iron Valiant Future Box deck, which I do have a video for. So if you want to check that out, please do so. It would mean a lot. But yeah, there you have it. That is my Raging Bolt Ogre Pond deck with the Seeker Box as the A spec. Even though I don't really remember using the Seeker Box that much in this video. But either way, it's still a good A spec for this deck, I believe. I've been using it for ever since Twilight Masquerade came out pretty much. But yes, enough rambling. Thank you all again so much for watching. It means a lot. And if you liked today's video, please leave a like. It does help out the channel a lot. And if, like again, if you think I should add any cards to the deck or take some out, leave a comment down below. Or if there's a deck you want to see me try out, leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, other than that, as always, thank you guys again so much for watching. See you next time.